Hey and welcome to Pizza the Race Fast Dude. Today I will show you how to add rain to your 3D scene in After Effects. Let's go! Here we are in After Effects and today for our tutorial we will use this old scene. I'm in um, Blender 2.83 because the After Effects export plugin only works in this version maybe there's a new one or I I tried this this plugin in a newer version of Blender but it doesn't work so this this plugin version 00.66 let's export our camera now camera 5 go to file export and Adobe After Effects so you can add the animation or the active camera which we set and or selected camera selected objects and include camera 3d markers so now we have to save our file now we are back in after effects and let's import our camera and let's go to scripts run script and choose our file um, set a name and bam here is now our camera Control C and paste it in our scene and now we have our perfect camera for our scene in After Effects let's add rain to our scene Let's begin with the adjustment layer. Search for CC rainfall. Bam. You are done. But I want to show you how to add the rain with uh, some particles. Let's try this one. So let's add a black solid and search for CC particle world. Let's put our producer a little bit into the back and let's reduce our velocity increase the radius let's increase the z, z value because we want to have some depth and the position as well so let's put the radius a little bit higher Put the position a little bit higher. If you want to have a little bit faster rain, you have to increase the gravity. I think the birth rate is a little bit too high, so let's put this back to one. If you want to let the rain is already falling at frame zero, you have only have to put the layer a little bit back in time or four in time and the emitter is already running it at your first frame i think we have to adjust uh, the color so let's do this really quick so let's put this one onto white and max opacity uh, maybe 50 and let's add a tint effect so we can adjust the color of the rain. I think a little bit bluish would be cool. Okay, let's uh, do this blue. The fast box blur, vertical, repeat on edges, and increase the blur radius to have a little bit smoother and um, smoother raindrops or not raindrops, but rain, rain, rain. <laughs> so well, let's add our raindrops to our scene. And we need a new comp layer, but this one has to be 50% gray. So otherwise you won't see this effect and this one is CC drizzle. And if you have a black or white layer, you won't see this effect. Let's add a curve. To this layer, 
push this one so we have a black layer again what we can do now is to put this layer to a 3d and push this one back 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 so we can see this one and rotate it now to fit in our scene add a motion tile effect and increase the output width and output height so let's change the rotation again so that our comp will fit into this scene so maybe something like this and let's press add and now you can see the drizzles are already on the floor now. Let's pre-compose this one, rename it to drizzles. It's very important to press move all attributes into the new composition because otherwise the whole effects will be on this comp or not inside this comp. So we want to have the whole effect stuff inside our new composition now. So press OK. Now we can see the perspective has changed because our camera is not in this comp, so that what we can do is add a new layer, black, search for, search for, search for fractal noise. Put this one into a 3D layer and rotate this one again. So I think we can copy the settings from this layer and orientation pop 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 so that fits perfectly and let's scale this one up now we will use our fractal noise as a mask for our drizzles so let's do this now and you have to choose a lumen mat because we are using the black and white colors as a mask. Now you can see we have to change uh, the brightness and the contrast now. And we can adjust the scale as well. See these three settings we have to play now. So let's turn the brightness down, contrast a little bit up. Uh, I think that would work. Now I have to add this layer again. And let's see. I think the drizzles are a little bit too fast now. So let's change this to one again. Change the evolution. So the fractal noise is a little bit um yeah ev ev evolution evolving whatever it is so let's keyframe this one and go to 10 seconds or whatever you like and keyframe the value maybe it's a little bit too much rain so let's change change this Point five. What you finally can do is add a tint effect on on your drizzles and give it uh, give them a bluish tint as well, so it fits together with our rain particles now. And that's it for now. I hope you learned something, and if you have any questions, let me know. See you next time. Bye-bye.